Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to crochet in the back bump. As you see, I've already made my um, chain and I've already made some double crochets into my chains. I think it's easiest to show you how to do this with double crochets, so that's why I started out that way. And um, as you can see here, you have what is your regular stitches there so this is how you would normally crochet and then what you're going to do is you're going to see there's your there's your front right there so those are your front stitches there and then you have a back loop there and then you turn it over and you have this little bump and that little bump is right there it can be a little bit hard to see there but the little bump is right there and that's what you're going to crochet into and if you're liking this video please consider subscribing to my channel and pushing the like button it would really help me out also I've got some some fun new things coming up like a granny square dress so be sure to subscribe to my channel to be the first one to see that now here I just crocheted in that back bump right there and I'm going to continue down that line to crochet in that back bump there now when you do the previous round what you want to do is you want to crochet loosely not very tight or it's going to be really hard to work into that back bump and here on this next stitch I crocheted a little too tight so it was a little bit hard for me to get the stitch in the back bump so there I'm showing you you've got your back loop but then here's your back bump so it's right there and I'm having a little bit of trouble right there but that's okay so you just crochet right into that back bump right there. So here I want to show you again. So here you have what is the back bump right there. So it doesn't, it looks different than the other stitches look. So if you just continue down that line, and most designers when they want you to crochet in the back bump, it's usually down the whole row. They're wanting a certain look or leaving some stitches open for something else there so here again you just continue on con continue on um, crocheting in that back bump there and you see here how it leaves a big ridge right there so you have your front loop and your back loop open so let's say you're wanting to do something like make I don't know a dress for instance and the top part of your dress was uh, what you just crocheted into and you're going to continue that but you have those other two loops there that are opened up so those other two loops are open so you could make possibly a skirt into those and you can make a roughly portion of the skirt or some kind of design into those and it looks really nice also it just looks kind of cool you can make a nice little ridge there in pretty much any design I hope you have enjoyed watching this crochet tutorial if you have again please subscribe to my channel and like the video it really helps me out um, Thank you for watching and have a great day and have a great time crocheting.